everybody's asking me, what do you think about this North Korea thing? Well, North Korea, Iran, nuclear weapons. It just seems like the same old bullshit over and over and over again. Seems like our president, all he's going to do is send them a nasty letter. You better stop wagging your finger at him. The United Nations they ain't going to do nothing. The old days, boy, there would have been something done. And if it hadn't been for the Republicans dropping the ball and the Democrats consistently kicking it into the end zone for the enemy, which is North Korea and Iran, to drop on it for a touchdown, maybe we could do something about it. You see, back when we had human intelligence, and we stopped using our human intelligence to spy on American citizens, back when we had spies who actually spied on the enemy, we could have sent spies into North Korea. We could have gotten all the information we need. We could have sent in Delta Force or Navy SEALs, Army Rangers. They could have captured these enemy spy, enemy scientists, brought them back here. We could have blown up their facilities and sent them back 25 years. But we can't do that now. We can't do that now because, one, our human intelligence has been dismantled and what human intelligence we have left is being used to spy on American citizens, people like, people like me, people who are patriots. We're considered terrorists now. You know, there's, those are the, there's two options. We can sit back and do nothing which is probably what we're going to do as far as North Korea is concerned. Or we can go in, capture the scientists, take out the facilities, set them back 25 years like we would have done 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, like we did with Germany in World War II. Germany was a whole lot closer to making the bomb than we were, but we took their scientists got them away from the Germans, and their scientists made the bomb for us. That's the way things were handled in the old days. Back when we were more worried about the enemies of overseas than we were the supposed enemies inside our border. As far as Iran is concerned, in the old days, we would have taken the leash off that big dog that we have over there called Israel, and Israel would do it for us. We wouldn't have had to worry about it. But now we're just holding on to that leash and holding on to that leash and restraining that big dog until eventually maybe the big dog can break his chain. And then Israel will take care of it. We don't have to worry about Iran. Israel will take care of Iran for us. As long as we let them. North Korea is a problem. North Korea... They backed out of the ceasefire that ended the Korean War. The Korean War never really ended. The ceasefire, the armistice, is, was still going up until Monday. And now North Korea has backed out of it, threatening action, whatever that means. I can tell you two countries that are pretty damn scared right now, South Korea and Japan. They're shitting their pants. And what are we doing? These are our allies, supposedly. You know, you're only as good as your word, which has been proven over and over again to us by the French and the Germans. They're not any good for their word. Are we going to do the same thing? Well, apparently so, because that's what Obama wants. Obama wants to be more like the French. He wants to be more like the Germans. Is that what we want for America? Where our word's not any good, we can say one thing, and then a few years later decide, ah, we shouldn't have said that. Stand, but we don't stand by our word anymore. But that's, uh, you know, that's the way things are going. You know, we 
entered into these treaties and we're only as good as as the word we gave and if nobody can count on our word anymore then we can't count on anybody else's but uh, this has been kind of a rambling video about several different subjects that I really don't uh, know exactly what to think about because uh, there was a time when you would have known what was going to happen. It wouldn't have mattered who was president, Democrat, Republican. You would have known. Some crap like this would have happened and, and it would have been taken care of. It would have been dealt with. Not anymore. Not anymore. Democrats, Republicans are all mamby-pamby. Nobody's, nobody's got the political guts to do what's right anymore. And that goes for anything. It doesn't matter whether it's the whether it's the budget, doesn't matter whether it's social issues, doesn't matter whether it's national security, it doesn't matter whether it's anything. Nobody has the political balls to do what's right anymore. And that's because our government, which was supposed to be of the people, by the people, and for the people, has become of the elite voted on by the ignorant for the elite for themselves politics was not intended to be a career and that's what it has become and that's why nobody has the political balls to do what's right anymore and it's pathetic